in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 1st of june wednesday of the 7th week of easter this day has been marked as world milk day by the united nations and global day of parents again by the united nations and we begin today a month dedicated to the sacred heart of jesus on this 1st of june we celebrate the memorial of saint justin martyr saint justin apologist and martyr was one of the most important christian writers of the second century he was on a never ending quest for religious truth he was a pagan philosopher who converted to christianity through scripture study and witnessing the bravery and unwavering faith of martyrs Justin found that Christianity answered questions about life better than what he had heard from philosophers. He found Christian faith as the one certain and profitable philosophy. He became the first Christian philosopher and used his knowledge of philosophy and his eloquent speaking skills to explain christianity to pagans his notoriety was eventually his undoing and he was beheaded in rome in 165 for refusing to renounce his christian religion saint justin the martyr is the patron saint of philosophers speakers and apologists saint justin the martyr pray for us brothers and sisters let's now focus our attention on the gospel reading of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to john chapter 17 verses 11 to 19 at that time jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and prayed saying holy father keep them in your name which you have given me that they may be one even as we are one while i was with them i kept them in your name which you have given me i have guarded them and not one of them has been lost except the son of destruction that the scripture might be fulfilled but now i am coming to you and these things i speak in the world that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves i have given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world just as i am not of the world i do not ask that you take them out of the world but that you keep them from the evil one they are not of the world just as i am not of the world sanctify them 
in the truth your word is truth as you sent me into the world so i have sent them into the world and for their sake i consecrate myself that they also may be consecrated in truth the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ as you sent me into the world so i send them into the world we all know what it's like to let go of someone time marches on situations change and someone must move away or is called home by the lord transitions like these can be hard they can upset the balance in our lives and introduce an element of uncertainty that no one treasures jesus knows what it's like to let go he knows how hard it can be in today's gospel reading for example he is letting go of his disciples he is letting them move into a new phase of life a phase in which they must build on what he has taught them but without him standing right by their side and because jesus knows what it's like we can trust him to help us through our own transitions for example dropping a child off for his first day at school might be fraught with anxiety You might wonder if your child is ready to go out into the big world without you. You might treasure the preschool days and not want to see them end. But you can turn to Jesus and pray, Lord, you have helped me so far. I trust that you will help me adapt to this new situation help me let my child go so he can grow retiring from a job can also be difficult maybe you have been working for so long you are reluctant to allow someone else to step into your role but you can thank god for all you have accomplished and pray lord help me to step aside help me to trust that you will work everything out for the good for both my employer and me watching a loved one decline in health is heart wrenching your lives have been into wind for so long it's hard to accept that her time on earth is approaching its end when letting go feels like it's tearing you apart pray lord help me surrender my beloved into your arms i believe that you love her more than i do and you will not forsake me as you approach your own transitions remember jesus knows what you are going through ask him for the grace to let go 
so that you and your loved one can walk unencumbered into the new life that lies ahead jesus increase my trust in you amen brothers and sisters as a response to god's word let's pray the responsorial psalm psalm 68 your response you kingdoms of the earth sing to god you kingdoms of the earth sing to god summon forth your might o god your might o god which you have shown for us from your temple high in jerusalem kings will come to you bringing their tribute you kingdoms of the earth sing to god you kingdoms of the earth sing to god praise the lord who rides on the heavens the ancient heavens behold he thunders his voice his mighty voice come acknowledge the power of god you kingdoms of the earth sing to god his glory is on israel his might is in the skies awesome is god in his holy place he is god the god of israel he himself gives strength and power to his people you kingdoms of the earth sing to god Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Pray for God's blessing now May almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit amen My dear brother and sister we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially father anup fernandes father arun sunil lobo father vijay de costa all three are carmelites francis lewis from rajajinagar bengaluru Pradeep Lobo from Bengaluru presently in Canada Fluer Anit De Souza from Dubai Juliana Rodriguez from Malad Mumbai Silvi Lobo from Darwad Alvin De Souza from Kulshekar presently in Sydney Melvin De Souza from Kulshekar presently in Dubai Carmen De Souza from Vijayadka Jacinta Pinto from Bahrain Kira Jade De Souza from Kulshekar presently in Sydney Wish you all a happy birthday God bless you Richard and Zita Tauro from Moodbidri are celebrating their wedding anniversary today Congratulations dear friends May God bless your family life. Sister Gladys De Souza belonging to the congregation of Helpers of Mary celebrating her religious profession day. Congratulations dear sister. May God bless your religious life. And we pray for the departed soul of Kamil De Souza from Pius Nagar Kundapur. Francis Gomes from Sagar Shimoga, Paul Nazareth from Binder Mumbai and Selin Lobo from Vidya Vihar Mumbai. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. That's all for today my dear friends. Have a great day and a great month. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.